different location and again we got this guy my name is guy <laughs> first name this last name guy but still we got Noah yeah. so let's again we last time we left we were talking about the animation so Animation great. It was pretty good, in yeah. my opinion. A lot better than Incredibles. <laughs> One. Like, like, Incredibles. Uh, now let's talk about the characters. I like how it focuses around Elastigirl this time. Uh huh. She's a nice character. Yeah. Or I was hoping more of like uh, Jack Jack. You know. Well, that's Maybe that's what the plot of Incredible 3 will be like. Like, a super growing up with, like, every power in the book. Yeah, he has, like, they're discovering new powers in the movie. Yeah, and, you know, at the end of the movie, they're all, like, like, Helen's like, I miss Jack-Jack's first power? You all miss his first power. I mean, like... At the end of Incredibles 1, he had powers, but y'all never saw that. Syndrome did. Yeah. But y'all never did, so y'all missed his first powers. You're terrible super parents. You know, I like how Violet w was like, like to Bob, where he's like, Man, I'm a terrible dad. I'm, I'm a terrible dad. And, yeah. And, like, and Violet's like, Oh, but you're not terrible. You're not even good. You're super. Yeah. You know, you know what I find fascinating? Huh. All of the clips from like 50s and 60s movies and TV shows are non Disney properties for now. Like, well, Godzilla, Outer Limits, and Johnny Quest. And no wonder that they had to close Tower of Terror in DCA because the Incredibles are an Outer Limits family. And you can't have a Twilight Zone ride in the same park where there is an Incredibles ride which enjoy Outer Limits. Find out on Animated Theory! Go watch that. <laughs> really, go watch that. Go watch that. Or. You can't eat any more peanut butter if you don't watch it. If you don't watch Animated Theory, no more peanut butter. Because this guy's eating peanut butter? No peanut butter. No peanut butter! It's peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time. Remember that? Wasn't that like fourth grade? Kind of, yeah. When everybody For was third. like that? So... You know, I feel like the whole romance thing with Violet and that boy was kind of pointless. Yeah. Yeah. But hey, Frozone was great. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when he came, you know, when we first saw him entering, like, the, ho the motel, you know, he actually got, like, a bit of a Nick Fury vibe, like, a character played by Samuel Jackson wearing, like, a long trench coat thing, entering out of the shadows. How did you... I'm surprised if anyone didn't Personally, get a Nick Fury Personally, I vibe. like Frozen in the movie. Who's your favorite character? Oh, no, that's just hard. Probably Frozone. Yeah. He's my favorite. He's the most likable in the in uh, Incredibles. In my opinion. Uh, I'm surprised that at the end of the movie he didn't go, I have had it with these mother effing and mind controlled superheroes on this mother effing boat. 
But, you know, it's a Disney movie and they can't swear, even though they actually kind of yeah. did. They said the word hell, crap, and suck. Yeah, um... Well, technically, a Disney movie has said, like, the place that you go if you've done bad things in life. When you, you, know, die, you, know. you know, in Flight of the Navigator, which has the Disney logo above its title, it had one of those, one of the two colorful four-lettered words, and it was the one that had an S at the beginning of it. Really? Yeah. Watch the movie, and one of the characters flat out said, it's triple colon. Wow. Well. So, can't swear because my grandparents are in the house. And because what's new is kid friendly. Well, it used to be that it wasn't, and now it is again. Weird. Uh -huh. It's like Super Mario Logan. But, Wait, it's kid friendly again? Well, it was kid friendly, then it wasn't, then it was again, now it kind of isn't anymore. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I know this is completely off topic, but how's everybody's 4th of July? Yeah, even though this is going to be uploaded on the 5th, but seriously, how's it? Was, it how's how was it? Mine was great. I had we celebrated it on the third for some reason, but well, mostly for reasons I do not want to explain. <coughs> 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 yeah, we're gonna celebrate today, but um, uh, it's raining outside. I know it sucks. Yeah. So, so anyway, uh, let's take a break from talking about the, the movie and instead talk about the animated short that. It, that played before it. Bayo. I didn't see it. The animated short? Uh-uh. Oh, um... You I didn't, came in late. <laughs> you didn't see the animated short that had, like... Like, like, the little... Like... The piece of food? You didn't see that? I came in really late. We were standing outside of there. Because we were gonna go to see the 6 p.m. and it was like five. Uh, we we're gonna go see the 6 p.m. Uh, and then my brother was texting his friend that was in the movie. He was like, "Dude, just, just, just come in, dude. It's about to start." And then he was like, and "My brother was like, no, we can just go see the other one." And then he was like, "Dude, it, the movie just started." And then we ran in, ran up the flights of stairs, and then sat down, and it started off with the the boyfriend thing or person. Yeah, there was like a talking, there was like a cute little dumpling thing, thing, and like, you know, when I was watching it, I was like, what gender is this dude supposed to be? Because the way he was, the way he or she was drawn, it was like... Hey, I gotta go. Well, screw you. You can continue the Disney dude. My thoughts on the movie is a four out of five. What four? A four out of five Pixar lamps. Their name, the guys... name's Lutso. Huh? Lutso. Anyway, bye, 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 bye. Okay, well, well, seriously, guys. Seriously, I am being dead serious with you. Boy, yeah. Like, try to guess what gender this is. If you can figure out what gender this is, then be my guest. Then you are amazing. Like, perhaps, what is this new story? So, spoilers. Bail creator, dummy she willingly be to go dark. Willing to go dark. Pixar short film isn't about white people who, and they're confused. What? Pixar's dumpling short Bail is polarizing audience with cultural themes. Pixar's Bail dumpling short reveal 
instills a clash in East-West family values. Which is true, like, like, the dude, I think, okay, I'm just gonna say that it's a girl. Like, the girl, like, say, misses, is missing her son, and she's like, it matches this little dumpling thing. It's like, she eats the dumpling. Like, she eats the dumpling in a way that, like, her son is leaving her. Or it's like, And, to be honest, when I first saw it, I was like, did that dumpling turn into a human? Eh? If you can't stop crying about Pizza's Bay, you'll read these 20 facts about how... Okay, uh... How Bayo director Nami Shi stayed true to her weird idea. The story behind Bayo and look the adorable short before Incredibles 2. Here's the tasty recipe for the Bayo from Pixar's charming new short Bayo. Okay. Behind the scenes of Bayo and look the short running before Incredibles 2. Incredible talent helped Bayo director make Pixar breakthrough. Okay, can we? So, overall, thoughts on the movie? It was incredible, incredible, incredible. Oh, and I forgot to mention, oh, and at the end credits, apparently, I didn't stay for the end credits. Psst, who does, unless it's a Marvel movie. <laughs> yeah, like, they actually played, like, little theme songs for, like, Mr. Incredible and Elastigirl and Frozone. So... That is amazing, and, you know, since this is, since they, that's what they did, I feel like I should do the same thing for my show. What? Disney, dude! This is Disney dude. He talks about Disney, and he's a dude. Sometimes he plays the character of Bill Ball. Sometimes it's just himself. Cause there's a Disney dude. Yeah. So, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And my overall thought on the movie is it is a great, great movie. The short is Jesus Christ, man. Jesus Christ. And I guess you can say that this movie is incredible. Yeah. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Come at me. Come on, forget me!